Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we have another algebraic exponential equation that we are going to solve. So here we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30 and we are given to find the value of x. Now you might want to save this video for future reference, you might want to hit that like button and subscribe for more. You can also check out my math olympiad playlist or my complex solution playlist for more math like this. Alright so let's look at our solution, we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. We can simplify a to the power of x as 2 to the power of 3 in brackets powered by x and then we would have plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. Now we can take this and we can apply our laws of indices here where we would have a to the power of m in brackets powered by n is the same as saying a to the power of m times n and this now can be simplified or said in another way as a to the power of n in brackets powered by m and so we'll use this expression to express 2 to the power of 3 in brackets powered by x so we'll say 2 to the power of x in brackets powered by 3 plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30 and now from here we would say let 2 to the power of x be equal to the variable y So from here we'll say y to the power of 3 plus y as 2 to the power of x is y and we have this equal to 30. But we can take this 30 and bring it over to the, this side of the equation so we'll say minus 30 is equal to 0. Now we can take this 30 and we can simplify it as we would say negative 27 minus 3. Negative 27 minus 3 is also negative 30. So we'll be using this in our equation. Now you might be asking why these two numbers you're going to find out in just a bit. So from here we say y cube and here we have negative 27. We know that 27 is a cubic number. So we know that that is going to be 3 to the power of 3. So that's 3 cubes and we have this negative sign there is just the same. So we'd have y to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. And then we continue to say plus y and then we take this negative 3 here and we group it with our y term. So we say y minus 3 is equal to 0. So if you look here, we have a unique expression known as the difference of two cubes, where a cube minus b cube is equal to a minus b in one pair of brackets and in the other pair of brackets, we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in using this to rewrite our equation here, so we express this as a minus b, so that would be y minus 3 in the first pair of brackets. And in this other pair of brackets, we'd have y squared plus a times b. So in this case, we'd have a times b would be 3 times y plus b squared, we have b is 3, so that's going to be 3 squared and 3 squared is 9. And now from here, we'll say plus y, so we'd have plus y minus 3. And this is equal to 0. Now here we have y minus 3, and here we also have y minus 3. This means that we can factor out y minus 3 and incorporate it here. So we do this by saying y minus 3 in the first pair of brackets. And our second pair of brackets will be y squared plus 3y plus 9. And since we are factoring out this y minus 3, we are going to have plus 1. And we close that bracket as y minus 3 times 1 gives us y minus 3 and we have this is equal to 0 and now from here we have y minus 3 is equal to 0 and we have another solution of y being that y squared plus 3y plus 9 plus 1 gives us 10 so we have plus 10 is also equal to 0 and now from here we solve y by adding 3 on both sides of the equation. So on the left, 3's are cancelled out. So we'll have y is equal to 3. And from here we have what we call a quadratic expression. Where the value of a is equal to 1. The value of b is equal to positive 3. And the value of c, which is our number term, is equal to 10. 
we solve the value of y by using what we call the quadratic formula where we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac is equal to 2 times a. Now from here we plug in the values of a, b and c into a quadratic formula. So we say negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared. So we know that b is 3, so that's 3 squared minus 4ac. We know that a is 1 and c is 10. So that's 4 times 1 times 10. And we have all of this over 2 times a, as again we say that a is 1. So that's 2 times 1. Now this therefore means that y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, we know that 3 squared is 9, so we have 9 minus 4 times 1 times 10 is going to give us 40. So that's 9 minus 40 and all of this is over 2 times 1 is going to give us 2, so that's all of that over 2. From here we then have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of we have 9 minus 40 that's going to give us negative 31 and we have all of that over 2. Knowing having this we have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 and then we have that times the square root of negative 1 and all of this is going to be over 2. Now we know that the square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number, so represent that by i. So therefore of y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 i. And again this is divided by 2. So we have three solutions for y. Our first solution is that y is equal to 3, which is our real solution. And then we have our second solution for y. We say that y is equal to negative 3 plus the square root of 31i. And we have that over 2. And for our third solution for y, y is equal to negative 3 minus the square root of 31i. This is also over 2. So y is equal to 3 is our real solution. So we have our only real solution here. And here now we have what we call our complex solution. So these two solutions of y are what we call complex solutions. Now from here, we are going to verify our real solution of y. So we said that y is equal to 3. And now if we go back here, where we see that we stated previously that 2 to the power of x is equal to the value of y. So we will have to write that, write y as the value that it holds, which is 2 to the power of x. And we will have this equal to 3. Now from here we will use this that we have here to solve for x. Now to solve x we take log so we say log of 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3. And then having this we use a logarithm rule that says that log x to the power of y is equal to y log x. So we will be rewriting log 2 to the power of x using this expression here. So then we say x log 2 is equal to log 3. And now from here we solve x by dividing both sides by log 2. So on the left log 2 will be cancelled out and on the right we would have log 3 over log 2. And now using this logarithm rule we can simplify our solution for x. So we would have log a over log b is equal to log base b of a 
So we'll be using log base b of a to simplify for a solution of x. So then therefore our solution for x is that x is equal to log base 2 of 3. So now that we have our solution for x, we can plug this into our original equation to see if our solution for x is true. So from here, we will verify our solution for x. So we said that x is equal to log base 2 of 3. So we rewrite our equation so we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. As we said before we can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 3 times x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 30. And since we know the value of x we plug in our solution into our equation. So we'll take this and we write it as 2 to the power of 3 times log base 2 of 3. Then we have plus 2 to the power of x, we said x again is log base 2 of 3. And this is all equal to 30. Now looking at our exponent, we have 3 times log base 2 of 3. Now you can recall that we have a logarithm rule that explains this. So we have log x to the power of y is the same as saying y times log x. So as we can see, y is the power of x. So we'll apply that rule in this situation. So then applying our logarithm rule here would mean we'd have 3 and we'll power this 3 here. So we'll write this as 2 to the power of log base 2 of 3 powered by 3. We continue by having that plus 2 to the power of log base 2 of 3. And we have all of this is equal to 30. And now from here we'll take another logarithm rule that says that if we have x to the power of log base x of y where we have the same base this expression is equal to y. Now in applying our rule where we have the same base here we take 3 to the power of 3. So we would have 3 to the power of 3 plus here again we have the same thing so we'll take our 3 here so we'll have 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 is equal to 30 and from the earth we know 3 cubes gives us 27 and we have 27 plus 3 is equal to 30 and from here we know that 27 plus 3 gives us 30 and so there we have it our solution for x is true x is equal to log base 2 of 3. Thanks again for staying tuned with me to the end of this video. I hope that this was a very informative lesson. If you like more content like this, please smash that like button, share and subscribe to my channel for more math videos like this. And until then, I will see you soon. Take care.